filled the sketchbook up. I started in like February 2022 and it's been through a lot and I finally filled it. Now July 2023 shows how much I draw in a sketchbook. I balance that out with digitally so it's really about the same. Sometimes I draw in other sketchbooks on paper too. So it takes a long time to fill up sketchbooks. But I finally, sk I finally filled this one up. Here's some drawings, some older ones. I don't know, yeah, tree. Book character. That's old, from like a year ago. This, dragons, OCs. For lost cities, it was supposed to be other people, but I just drew them. Some more sketches. How to train your dragon fan art, why not? Uh, these are for digital art. This is where I changed my style even more. That I changed at the beginning of the sketchbook from what you originally saw, but I changed it even more there. Yeah, just filled. It's nice. Still really like the drawing. Um, and yeah, so now it's time to start a new sketchbook. And I'm starting it with this one. I have a whole drawer of sketchbooks, most of which are full, but some aren't. So I think I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with this first page, and I think I'm gonna draw a picture of my cat Pippin because he deserves more fan art of him. First page is blank. Time to change that. So I started off the drawing just drawing. I tried to draw. I drew a circle and a tiny bit of a sketch that's going to make it full body, more full body, of about half a body originally and I decided not to because it just, I wasn't liking how it was working even though I had hardly drawn anything. It just, you couldn't just tell sometimes just from a few circles so it's not going to turn out good that way. And so yeah, I instead changed it and started drawing just a headshot which should have been my original plan um i went with side view because i'm better at side view than i am front view it just oftentimes looks better because yeah i drew it more often when i first started out so i have more practice with it this one was already looking pretty good i have trouble with i've had been having trouble with eye placement recently and the place that I put the eye, I didn't really move it around because I just, I liked where it was. Um, so yeah, I drew it, this didn't take very long to draw, maybe a half hour, compared to my digital pieces that take, I don't know, at least two hours for a fully done one, and that shows why I don't do digital much anymore, it's just really time consuming. As you can see just now, I was readjusting, um my camera because the tripod I had it on tipped over. It's not the strongest ty tripod and so it's a little flimsy. So yeah, I tripped, I accidentally knocked it just slightly and it fell over and I was having trouble getting it back up. But I fixed it so that I could film the rest of the video. Anyway, so I'm moving on to coloring. I was just coloring with a pencil at first because um, I wanted this to be black and white. You can see me adjusting my tripod again, kept tipping. Um, I went to draw his nose. This is my cat, by the way, that I'm drawing. Um, I was drawing the spot on his back. He has, he has a tuxedo cat, so he has black on his back. Just coloring in with a mechanical pencil, as you can see here. Coloring it not really a specific rhythm, which should have been doing better, but yeah. Then I went up to his face. I realized that if I colored over the fur on the side that you wouldn't be able to see anymore so I darkened the line out on that and then began coloring with my pencil and then you can see here this is where I get out the graphite pencils that I have had for years and have never used and then I started using those even though I don't really know much about graphite pencils I don't know if you need to know much about them to use them but yeah I started using them without really any reason I'm just like I just started practicing on the margins, and I'm like, this one will look good for what I'm wanting here, so that's what I did. It actually made it, it did make, help it make 
look better, but I didn't know what I was doing. I just got these in, like, an art kit for practice for sketching. And so, yeah, I didn't, <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing with them, but that's okay. It's, it's part of learning how to do art. See, so, yeah, I was just coloring in his face up there. You can see a difference from that in his back, the coloring on them. So yeah, I was just coloring. Um, I went down to his collar with a different color, a different graphite pencil. I I use I hate to admit it, but I I do before this I would always use um, mechanical pencil the ones they wanted the sketch with just to draw the um just to draw the everything, the every part of it. I draw, usually when I'm drawing a sketchbook, I don't use colored pencils or anything. I just use black and white pencils that I drew in his eye. You can see that's probably my favorite part of it. That turned out really well. His eyebrow. And I started lightly coloring in the ears, the insides of the ears anyway. And yeah, at this point it's already almost done turning out pretty well with the graphite pencils even though I didn't really know what I was doing but I don't I don't know if you need to know what you're doing you know and then I got out my kneaded eraser to try to be more of a fancy artist I still don't know how this works and I guess I accidentally got part of my face or well not my face my head and that so hope you didn't mind there I guess a hair color review <laughs> and my hair wasn't really was kind of messy anyway so yeah I should, then I started going over darker with the whole line art so that the fur on the side didn't look odd. I guess I kind of kept bumping myself so the line art's a bit messy. But yeah, it, it, it does look good. I kind of, I don't know if I should have kept it um, light line art or not, but I think it didn't ruin the drawing. So that's a good sign as long as it doesn't ruin the drawing, it's okay, right? So yeah, I was just going over the eye, going over for every little detail. I didn't go over the pupil because I want the pupil to just, I don't know, I don't want it to seem different. So yeah, I signed it, did some shading, I don't really know, I, I just shade where it makes sense to put it, so I don't know if the shading's good, it probably isn't. Then I wrote my cat's name so that you know what the drawing is of. Um, yeah, that concludes that. Okay, here's the finished result. I'm pretty proud of it. It actually turned out really good in my mind. Better than most of my recent drawings, despite the weird process I went through with all the different drawing utensils to draw it. Here's a zoomed out view so that you can see it better. Yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching. Bye!